Hey guys, let's get more news about Steelers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Chicago Radio Host if Justin Fields plays in 2024, something has gone wrong in Pittsburgh. Just about everybody has something to say about the Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback competition. Some have written off Russell Wilson as just being a shell of himself. Some say Justin Fields can't be a good enough passer to be a starter in the league. If Steelers insider Ray Fittipaldo's views on Fields' performance during OTAs and mandatory minicamp hold up, then we will likely see plenty of Wilson under center in Pittsburgh. While Fields certainly is the more dynamic athlete than Wilson at their respective career stages, there's more to playing quarterback than athleticism. So what does that mean for Fields? This is a respite year, Chicago-area radio personality David Haw said on the extra point of Wednesday's Moley and Haw show on 670 The Score. This is a year of growth and learning if you will. If he plays, something has gone wrong in Pittsburgh. I don't think he will be playing by design. He'll be playing because of injury or ineffectiveness. Does that mean Fields cannot turn things around in training camp and preseason once pads are on? No, but OTAs and mini camps are supposed to be the easiest atmospheres. So you would hope Fields would shine in those situations, and he's reportedly been inconsistent. But a strong training camp in preseason might not even rescue Fields. The Athletics' Mark Cabley has even said that it doesn't matter what Fields does, Wilson is the Steelers' starting quarterback. Obviously, that's based on Wilson being perfectly healthy and not falling into the depths of incompetence suddenly. Offensive coordinator Arthur Smith has talked about how training camp will be different for the quarterback competition. That could simply be coach speak to keep both the media engaged and not cause issues with Fields. Or it could mean that Fields' performance will be taken into proper consideration this summer. It feels disingenuous for the Steelers to rubber stamp Wilson as the starter before either quarterback takes a snap in pads. To say that either quarterback's performance means absolutely nothing is the wrong way to build a team. Every player needs to be held to a standard to be the starter. It's another thing entirely to have expectations, though. It makes sense that people would expect Wilson to perform at a higher level than Fields because Wilson has done that for most of his career. Perhaps that's what people like Haw and Cabley mean. Then there's former NFL head coach Jay Gruden. He would start Fields without hesitating due to his physical upside and Smith's offense. Fields certainly offers explosiveness in the ground game, which would be an additional dimension to the offense. Only time will tell for certain, though. Browns return to hard knocks in season with rest of AFC North, Croquill. The Cleveland Browns, along with the rest of the AFC North, will be featured during the last six weeks of the regular season and part of the playoffs on HBO and NFL Films, Hard Knocks, in season with the AFC North. It will be the first time Hard Knocks has featured a whole division and as a result also the first time the Steelers will be represented. Hard Knocks debuts in early December just as winter weather begins to rear its ugly head in the north and the Browns have a tough stretch where they play all three division opponents, the defending Super Bowl champion KC Chiefs and the Miami Dolphins. Pittsburgh plays Cincinnati twice, plus Cleveland, Baltimore, Philadelphia and the Chiefs. Baltimore plays Pittsburgh and Cleveland plus the Chargers, the Eagles, the Giants, and the Texans. The Bengals play Pittsburgh twice, Dallas, Tennessee, Cleveland, and Denver. Steelers ready to offer Brandon Ayak a ton of money, this is real, one major obstacle remains. The Pittsburgh Steelers have been linked to nearly every wide receiver available this offseason. This stems from their decision to trade away star wide receiver, Deontay Johnson. Reports indicate that Pittsburgh is eager to pair an exceptional pass catcher with George Pickens. However, they have yet to succeed in this pursuit. Former Pittsburgh Steelers cornerback Patrick Peterson allows a touchdown to Brandon Ayuk of the San Francisco 49ers in Week 1 of 2023 during a contest at Acrisure Stadium in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. 
several NFL insiders believe Pittsburgh will make a significant wide receiver trade before the season begins. The San Francisco 49ers receivers have frequently been mentioned in potential trades with Pittsburgh, with Brandon Ayuk being the most connected name. Ayuk has been seeking a new, highly priced deal from the 49ers. In a recently leaked social media video, Ayuk was seen talking to his former college teammate Jaden Daniels about how seemingly the 49ers don't want him back. This video has reignited hope in Steeler Nation for a potential trade for Ayuk. On Thursday morning, Pittsburgh media personality Andrew Filipponi took to social media to share his insights on the Steelers' pursuit of Ayuk. While many Pittsburgh fans believe the money Ayuk would command is the holdup in trade talks, Filipponi offered a different perspective. The Steelers have shown strong interest in Ayuk throughout the offseason. Reports even suggested that on draft day, Pittsburgh believed they had secured a deal with the 49ers for Ayuk, but something caused the trade to stall. Steelers general manager Omar Khan has taken a notably bold approach this offseason, unafraid to make daring moves, and trading for Ayuk would be one of the boldest. Steelers general manager Omar Khan signs for and meets with fans during the team's 2023 training camp in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. A trade with the 49ers for Ayuk would require Pittsburgh to give up significant assets. Additionally, they would need to offer Ayuk a substantial contract, as he is one of the league's top wide receivers, commanding around $25 to $30 million in salary. While this is a considerable amount to pay for a wide receiver, pairing Ayuk with Pickens would significantly enhance the Steelers' roster. Pittsburgh has made improvements across almost every position this offseason, with the wide receiver position being the primary concern among fans. Successfully trading for Ayuk would elevate the Steelers' wide receiver group from one of the weakest in the league to one of the strongest. San Francisco 49ers wide receiver Brandon Ayuk, number 11, signals in the direction of an official to confirm he is lined up properly before a snap during a professional football game. Ayuk was drafted by the 49ers in the first round of the 2020 NFL Draft and has played four seasons in San Francisco. During that time, he has amassed 269 receptions for 3,931 receiving yards and 25 receiving touchdowns. Additionally, Ayuk has scored two rushing touchdowns, totaling 27 touchdowns in his four-year career. He thrived in San Francisco's offensive system, but if traded to Pittsburgh, he would be entering a vastly different environment, one that even Pittsburgh fans find uncertain. This offseason, the Steelers hired offensive coordinator Arthur Smith, who aims to implement a run-heavy attack complemented by a play-action passing game. Adding Ayuk would significantly boost the Steelers' prospects for the 2024 season. However, the main obstacle is not the salary they would have to pay Ayuk, but rather the significant assets they would need to give up to acquire him. Steelers fans will continue to hope that Khan can orchestrate a major trade to bring Ayuk to Pittsburgh. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Brandon AIYUK? Leave your opinion in the comments.